Hello everybody and welcome to Bow for episode 12 season finale anime review hype. Uh yeah, it was it was a good another good episode, you know, it was what we expect. One thing I really do like about this series, this episode as a whole, and this series as well. Said that the wrong way around, you know what I meant. Uh it, it's just a game, isn't it? You know how like every other like VR game or just any uh, other game anime, it always turns really uber serious. Like Maybe not all of them, but you know the fair majority. They turn like super serious, like proper tryhard. This though, it's like now nah, they're just they're just having fun, and it's probably the thing I've enjoyed the most about this series. Uh, the other thing is is Maple. She's she's pretty funny and pretty cute. That too. Uh, let's just let's get into the episode. If you if you you're new here or whatever, uh, we're gonna go through the episode as we do, and then at the end we'll talk about the series a bit as a whole because it's the season finale. So that'll be good. Let's jump into the episode for now, though, and see what happened. We pick up where we left off last week with Payne getting a big old hit on Maple. She even fell over. She might not have. I can't actually remember. I think she fell over. That's how strong of an attack it was. Everybody is pretty shook at this because, of course they are. Iz tries to get Maple to cover move to her, but then Iz ends up getting slashed. And she gets one shot by Payne because he's pretty OP. He's like a grinder. Like, Maple's got technique. He's just grinding. That's basically what he's doing. Uh, so Iz is dead. Um, Maple's on her own basically. All the other members of the Holy Sword are keeping Maple Tree busy so to keep it a one-on-one -on -one, essentially which is not good. Obero gets deaded which is big rip for Obero. Not permanently because that would be very harsh uh, and I'd be a little mad at that but no just um, I guess until the event's over. Or well, not even, no not even that. Briefly Obero dies so there is that. Uh, Kadane tries to escape with the orb. He, he or she. Still not sure on what, which it is. Uh, they died too, basically. Rip Kanade. Uh, you know, you are you are the second fatality of the war. War? We'll go with that. Pain's about to kill Maple. Maple puts the shield down and then has a Mega Man arm cannon. Uh, and does a giant ass laser beam on um, Pain. He manages to survive though, but you know, it's hardly a... I mean, he would have died if he didn't have the the one the second chance skill. I can't remember exactly what it's called. It's like second chance from the old Kingdom Hearts. That's how I remember it. Uh, it's basically that skill, from what I can tell. Uh, Maple then, uh, after he survives, she's like, oh, okay. Demon form out of nowhere, and they're like, by God, we, have, we didn't know about this. Uh, and then eats pain, and he's dead for good, so Maple wins. Uh, big, that's a big victory, and also every, eats the rest of the guild as well. So, yeah, I should say, the enemy guild shouldn't start eating her teammates. That would not be good. Uh, the friends respawn and everything. They regroup. They won! They won, guys! They did it! Maple isn't transforming back because she can only do it once a day, and she doesn't want to waste it. So she's like, I'm just going to stay like this now. And it's pretty funny because it's a big, big old demon, and it's got, like distorted speech but the things it's saying it's still regular old maple it, it's pretty funny it is a pretty funny thing indeed new plan hunt down the remaining guilds so there's less people to get orbs from to try and keep the standings the same basically so yeah well, and then they go on a murder spree basically they murder a lot of people holy sword have a chat for a little bit and then something is happening at the flame emperors that's not good what could it be it's a it's a all-out war. Let's call it that. So yes, the Flame Emperors, they managed to raise their standing back up. However, they made a lot of enemies. So now there's an all-out... They've all, like, attacked the Flame Emperors at once. That's not ideal for them. Uh, they are killing loads, but they're, they're losing some too, you know. They hear Maple and Co are coming to finish them off. So they're like, okay, that's not good. Uh, fight to the death. Mii's about to die. But then she gets saved by Demon Maple. So... Turns out Maple Tree wasn't there to kill them all. They were there to assist because, because Flame Emperors, I guess they're using them to help them wipe out the rest of the guilds. So it's like, it's in our best interest to keep the Flame Emperors alive. And that is exactly what they do. Um, the Holy Sword are also out and about killing some guilds. So basically we've got this sort of, team up's the wrong word, but they're all working towards the same goal. Uh, despite not being like officially allied. Could you imagine that alliance with all three of those guilds teamed up? Th that would be broken. The, ga the GM would have to step in and be like, all right, guys, you can't do that. You've, you've ruined everything. <laughs> you've ruined the game. 
Um, but yeah, then we get a... There's... Oh, I completely forgot about this. I just checked my notes. Then Demon Maple gets cloned using a few of the others' abilities to help. And then there's seven Demon Maples just wrecking everything. And nobody knows what to say. Like, they're not really surprised. No, they, they, they are surprised. But it's just like... That's that's ridiculous. Like pain is like, what the hell, man? That's I need to get BSOP as well. Almost almost said bad words there. Uh, so yeah, then we have Demon Maples and everyone wrecking things. There's a credits montage. Yeah, credits were really early. Or I guess the first credits. There was like two sets of credits, which is fine. It's not like it's a, it's a big deal. Uh, yeah, they everyone wrecks everyone. Is essentially what the, the credits is. The post credits, first thing, the de dev the devs decide, hey, let's end this event now because, it, I mean, it's irrelevant anything else that happens. The top six, I think it was, has decided. There's only six guilds left, so uh, it's irrelevant. Keep fighting because if you're in the top ten, you get the same reward, which doesn't that feels stupid. Surely first, second, third, and then you give them the rest of the same the, res the same reward, right? That's just what I was thinking. Maybe that's just me. Um, also, the devs decide, basically, Maple, they can't nerf Maple because it would piss too many people off, and she's basically a mascot for the game now, which I'm pretty sure she's not even aware of that, you know, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. She's like, she's going to find out, she's going to be like, what? I have fans? Crazy. She's going to act, she's going to appear in advertising. She should, she should do that. Yeah, you get prob probably a good advertising deal with the company. Get some sweet money. Just, just a thought, Maple, just a thought. Uh... But yeah, hey, then also we learned that the party got third. Hooray! You know, the maple tree. No, that is good. You know, I assume Flame Emperors and Holy Sword were the two above them. Because uh, they're bigger, basically, and that's the only real reason. is because they, they're bigger and they can cover more ground. Uh, is probably where they're at. Uh, there's a party at the place. They invited the Holy Sword and the Flame Emperors, the ones that were important, not the whole guild. Because that would be ridiculous. We don't need all these nameless mooks in the maple tree. Just, just the important ones, who they just happen to find. That makes sense. But no, they're all at the party. They watch some hi highlights video, and it's like all Maple and stuff, good stuff. And then Maple says, what are you on about? I'm just playing the game normally. And it's just like, okay, Maple. Okay, I believe you. Uh, and then we get another credits montage with second credits. Good stuff. And at the very end, very end, the logo, right? The shield and the logo splits into two. So it looks like the Roman numeral 2. We're going to get a season 2, and that's exciting. I wasn't expecting that. Um, but I'm happy with it. I'm happy for a season 2. That's dope. That's awesome. Dope. I shouldn't say that. I made this sound like an idiot. Uh, no, it's awesome. That's really good. I'm I'm happy for that. This this show... I mean, I'll do, it in a, I'll do that in a minute. This episode, it was a fine finale. You know, it was about what we expected. Had the big old fight, and then Maple and Co. wrecking a lot. I like that. Maybe the starting fight could have been a bit longer, but nah, it was it was long enough. I thought it was ten it was a little bit tense, but at the same time, Maple won, and that's good. That is all. That is all we can we can say. Maple won, and that is good. Uh, I I didn't. I've enjoyed this series a lot. Should we just go on to that? I think we should just go on to that. I struggled to, with these finale episodes. Talk about them themselves. I think this was a good finale. Well, the season two coming, but if they weren't going to make a season two you know this is a this is a fine way to end it so good job wouldn't have surprised me if originally there wasn't a season it's like now some things come out and it's like you can tell from the offset there's a season two planned like i wouldn't be surprised if this one there was no season two planned and then they're like actually it's doing quite well we'll make a season two uh and that's i'm okay with that you know you can never have too many isekai or isekai like series I know that's a debate. Do VR games count as isekai? I'm leaning towards yes, because it's literally another world, and it is another world. That's not a debate for today, though. Um, but yeah, let's let's talk about the series as a whole for a little bit. Uh, probably not too long, but... Uh, so, number one thing the series does really, really well. Its fight scenes are surprisingly good. Like, what, they put a lot of effort into them. Way more than I was expecting, and way more than they needed to this kind of show it's sort of like a, it's a cute girl doing cute things show you know it's not really a action show although it is an action show they kind of mix them together and the animation definitely helped especially earlier against the big the big bosses in the starting episodes 
where the fights were really like dynamic and cool. Really like that a lot. That's one thing definitely uh, stands out to me. Uh, let's talk about one thing that could be a negative. Too many goddamn montages, right? Like, you do it a few times and it's like, alright, it's fine. They did a lot, they did like a montage an episode, that's ridiculous. Yes, it's a very nitpicky point, but it is something worth mentioning. A lot of montages with that Persona-esque music. That one. Uh, not quite like that, I'm, I'm not gonna quit my day job to start singing, that's not something I'm... I'm down for, but uh, yeah, number two thing that does well. I mentioned it earlier. It's a, it's just a game, man. Don't want Ninja to get on me, but it's just a game, and they treat it like that. They don't treat it like literally the world. They treat it like like it is. It is a pastime. It is a game. It is fun and stuff. It don't need to take it super seriously, you know. I'm, you know, I'm obviously a gamer myself, uh, and it, whenever whenever you see people an anime where they take it super seriously. Uh, it is a bit like no one really plays like that. Like there's there's a difference between I know people do play, take games seriously and stuff, but there's a difference between that and then what the anime is, where they treat it like literally life or death. If people are acting like like this section, the life or death bit, don't do that. You need to play less less games. Like that's I don't want to tell people how to live their life. It's fine to be serious, just don't let it consume you. There's my life advice. I shouldn't be giving out life advice. No, this show good it's like we're in like the era of the shield right now and it's bizarre because if you it, two years ago maybe even one year ago one and a half years ago if people are like hey you can have a shield i'm like shields are lame man i want a shield now it's like hell yeah i want a shield shields are awesome anime bringing shields back since 2019 we'll say 2019 because flipping out here's the question here's a here's a question that I, uh, I thought when the season two announcement happened, I thought maybe this could happen. Will the Bofuri characters get added into Isekai Quartet? Will there be a VR rival school? That's the real question. It's not the real question. The real question is when will season two come out? But that can be another real question. It can be more than one. There can be two real questions. Uh, I'm starting to ramble now. In short, really like the show. It's not serious. It's not got a serious plot. The plot is. They're playing video games, they're doing events, you know? It doesn't have a big world-ending crisis like some others. Others, And I do like a good, you know, overly dramatic world-ending crisis video game anime. I like them too, but you know, it's nice to have a... It's more slice, it's like a slice of life video game. That is exactly what it is, a slice of life video game anime. And that's, that's, that's good every once in a while. Uh, but yeah, let's, let's wrap this up here. I've enjoyed this show a lot. I'm happy they're making a second season. Thank you everybody else for watching with me and stuff. It's been great. Um, thank you. As I said, I just said that, but I'll say it again. I will see you next week. Nope. No, I won't. This is the finale. I'm stuck in my old outro. It's fine. Uh, uh, subscribe and stuff. If you enjoyed the video, there's other videos and reviews on the channel. Uh, at some point, I'll be putting a video up saying what I'm watching next season. Probably this weekend. I think that'll go up. That would make sense. I think I'll do it this weekend. Uh, so stick around for that. Uh, I will see you then, or whatever else you decide to watch next. Uh, tell me what you liked about the show. Maybe what you didn't like about the show. Tell me, I, I'm curious about everything. Uh, I'll see you next time, though. Take care, and bye, guys.